Hey Rifters, welcome back. Today we're going to be checking out Steam VR. This is an early beta version. It actually allows you to view Steam Big Picture mode in the Rift, which is really freaking cool and is a very big leap in the right direction for Steam integration with the Oculus Rift. Now if you don't know what Big Picture mode is, it usually allows you to walk place steam on your TV screen and it allows a controller to work as well so you can go through all your options the only thing about this there is a bit of a drift in the steam VR version as you can see if you turn your head it'll kind of it'll kind of correct itself whichever way your head's turned which is kind of weird when you turn your head back but it will slowly adjust itself also if it will drift one way or the other if you look in the opposite direction it'll kind of drift back into your view so you can realign it a little bit like I said this is an early beta version so there are problems and there are bugs unfortunately when you go to the library and try to start a game it actually will start the game on your monitor instead of in the rift again this is a beta version so these types of things are to be expected but anyway, we're not going to go ahead and start a game. Let's see here. Back. The best thing about this currently is still being able to actually chat with your friends and get on the web in the Rift. Now, there are a couple apps that let you use your desktop and, and stuff like that and surf the web. But being able to do it on Steam is really cool. That way you can still chat with your friends, surf YouTube, or get on Twitter, or whatever, whatever your thing is. You can also get on the community too, and look at your friends or profiles, or surf the store. We'll go ahead and do that really quickly here. As you can see, it's just the same as Steam Big Picture. It's just in the Rift. You can check out all these different games. Now, I really recommend Rust. It doesn't have Oculus Rift support yet, but it is really cool. Go ahead and press continue here. All right, as you can see, you can check out each game. Go to the screenshots, which is really cool. It's kind of in a, the view is kind of warped around you, which allows you to look around. You can go ahead and buy games through here. Everything you can do on Steam Big Picture, you can do on here, like I said, except for actually play games. So anyway, let's go ahead and check out the web. Now I've already loaded up a video here. Go ahead and mute the audio there. You can actually go into full screen mode and watch YouTube videos. Now this video is my Rush gameplay slash tutorial that I did the other day. Due to the low resolution of the Rift, it is hard to read some text. I can read it if I focus on it pretty clearly and then I can read what's going on here. But that's it's still really badass to be able to actually, you know, comment on YouTube and check out different videos. That's a really nice little feature. Check out friends really quick here. This is my friend Warbot. We're gonna go ahead and send him a message. Now the text in the chat is actually very readable, it's very clear, it's not like on YouTube. I can read that perfectly fine, no problems with all whatsoever, I don't have to focus or anything. So it works really cool. As you can see, you can chat, and you can chat with all your friends here. Which is really freaking cool in the Rift. Let's go ahead and go back. If you want to look at your Steam library games, you can go ahead and do all that stuff too. You can check out all the different games you have. I do have a shitload of games actually. I'm going to go ahead and switch back to the controller here. It's a lot easier to use a controller in the Steam Big Picture mode, except for chatting, of course. As you can see, you can go through all your games. Unfortunately, like I said, if you try to load one up, it's going to put it on your monitor and not in your Rift. Except for like Team Fortress 2, if I can find it, go back, I think, 
I loaded it a second ago. If you load Team Fortress 2, it will load on the monitor version like normal, and then you can click VR, and then you can get right back in. A little bit of immersion breaker, but still shows that it does work, which is really cool. I think that is about it. You can also check out all of your downloads and stuff like that. Now, if you're wondering how to actually set this up, it's really simple. I did have one problem where I had to restart my computer to get it to work. Not everybody will have to do that. I've seen on the forums that most people didn't have to do that. But if you can't get it to work, definitely restart your computer first. Now, I'll be switching over to desktop mode in just a second to show you guys how to set this up. Just so you won't have to hassle with trying to find a post on the internet on how to do this. Alright guys, so the first thing you're going to need to do to set this up to work with the Rift is go to Steam Library. Go down to Tools. Look for Steam VR. Right click it and install game. already have it installed so you won't be seeing the same thing. Once it's installed, you do want to go down to Properties. Go over to Betas and click in Beta Update click close it'll have a little update real quickly here alright so once it's done updating into the beta update if you open it up it's actually just gonna bring up the oculus configuration utility which you should already have set up you shouldn't even need to open this up it's nothing that you need to do so just go ahead and leave that alone for now you are gonna wanna go up to steam and settings Open up, go to the interface tab and select start steam and big picture mode. Now you need to do this because currently it's it's still in beta like I said before. So you need to select this so that it works properly. Alright, now once you have that done, you're going to want to close steam out completely. Go ahead and exit it completely. And then you're going to make a shortcut to your steam.exe file. Right click, go down to properties and type negative VR. Make sure there is a space there and it needs to be in the target line. Go ahead and, and hit apply and OK. The last thing you're going to have to do is set the Rift to be on extended monitor, not clone. This will not work with cloned monitor. Do not try it. It will, it will just completely close out the VR mode because it just shows the VR mode in the Rift. If you take the Rift off while you have Steam Big Picture on, you'll just see Steam Big Picture on your TV. This actually allows other people that are watching the screen to see games in normal view without having to see the dual screen. Once you get all that done, it, all you have to do is open Steam back up with your newly created shortcut, and it'll bring you right into big picture mode like you've seen before. If that doesn't work for you, you're going to need to restart your computer and open up the Steam.exe shortcut that you made just a second ago. And it should work. If not, go ahead and leave a comment below and I'll try to help you get this working. Alright guys, well that was Steam VR. This is a really big step in the right direction for the integration of the Oculus Rift with Steam. Hopefully in the future you'll be able to actually play games directly from your library menu. And without ever having to take the Rift off, that would be really freaking cool. But currently it is still really cool to be able to surf the web and chat to your friends in the Rift without having to worry about taking it off. But anyway guys, as always, if you have any comments, questions, or requests, please post them below. If you like this video and would like to see more, please like and subscribe. And thanks for watching guys.